the last two episodes were all about the slap motion. This is going to be about popping. So in most slap lines, you're going to alternate between the slap and the pop. And that's really the bread and butter of your slap lines. Maybe you don't know what that means because that's a very British thing to say. So let's look at how we get this movement right. Take my index finger, put it underneath the string. Pull. And you'll notice it sounds more aggressive and bright than a slap. One thing I've seen some bass players get confused with is the difference between finger style and a pop. So if you think about finger style, my finger is on top of that string where the pop is literally going underneath it. I said before that most slap lines are going to alternate between slaps and pops, and that happens a lot between octaves like this. So both those notes are a D, and it's more common in, say, funk styles, but it definitely happens in rock and it can happen in metal as well. So I think that's a really good way of actually practicing these two motions. So that was me just doing the A major scale, except I'm hitting the octave on every single note, just playing on one string, the A string, going all the way up and then coming back down. This makes a really nice warm up, but slow it down if that's what you're going to use it for. Once you're familiar with the index finger popping, try and work on your middle finger as well. I see a lot of slap basses so they only have a pop with one, and if you do that, you're really limiting your potential. So for example, like here's a slap move that you could only do with two, really. So I pop with my index first, then my middle. There's no way I could do that with just one finger. It would sound really messy. Here's the second and final exercise of the lesson today. Cool, let's break that down. So we have an open E, and then we pop on the second fret of the D, and I pop once with my index and once with my middle, and then we hit the octave from the fifth fret on the E to the seventh fret on the D, and then come up with the same shape, seventh fret on the E and ninth fret on the D. Repeat, there you go. All right, that's it for today's lesson, guys. See you in the next one. There is one more thing, though. Send us your questions.